fireplaces It's hard to carry on When you feel all alone Now I've swung back down again It's worse than it was before If I hadn't seen such riches I could live away Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, we're going to talk about the game tonight, the ups and downs, where we're going to go, what the team may be, and all that. I'm nervous already. Anthony, mate, how are you doing? Are you nervous about it? Yeah, I'm doing fine, Jed. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. But, listen, it's, it's only what it is. As long as he picks the right team and the team and the players give it 100% on the pitch, that's all I can ask for. Fact. Kenny, big game, big game tonight. Massive, Please. absolutely massive. Are you nervous about it, man? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I love these, uh, these, um, these kind of games, these weekday games. You know what I mean? Champions League. You know what? The second legs that we saw yesterday just showed you. You know, if you've got nothing to lose, just give it a go. You know what I mean? Like Dortmund. You know, you normally would have thought that um, Atletico would see it through, but they came out and attacked. And then, you know, PSG against Barcelona, they um, obviously, you know, um, Arejo um, got himself sent off. But apart from that, PSG just played attacking football and just hit him on the break. So you, you never know what can happen. Because, you know, they're all good teams. You know, there's not much between a lot of the teams in, in Europe in the last eight. So who knows what can happen? True. I mean, it's... Yes, it's a big night tonight. I mean, I uh, just want to say big up BV, uh, BVB, David. Well done, mate. You're through to the semis. Uh, I was surprised at that, Kelly, seeing Barcelona and Atletico Madrid go out. Um, <clears throat> big surprise. Quite a shock, really. But it is what it is. That's what co competitions can do. And it is Europe. You never quite know what's going to happen. But let's talk about our game tonight. It's a huge game for my uh, thinking tonight, really. Kenny, I'll come to you for you on this first one, mate. I do not want to see Zinchenko playing at left back tonight. I do not want to see Jesus starting. Mm. Right? Mm. I think we, you know, we, we can we can sort our own. Is Dow big up Dow? Big up Dow. Um, I, I think you know it's 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 a must win. Mm. Champions League, we haven't been in this situation for a very long time. Bayern Munich have got nothing else to play for, Kenny. They, mm. they, they, they you know, didn't win the, the uh, Bundesliga. They're now fighting for this. So it's going to be a massive ask tonight at the Allianz. It's going to be mad noisy. And big up to our, our travelling fan base that have made it there because uh, good luck mm. to you guys. What do you think, mate? I mean, I don't want Zinchenko starting at left back. Well, I think you know, Dave, uh, Mikel's created a problem for himself in that, you know, the way he wants to play in terms of like creating, having an extra body in the midfield and play, having someone who can pass, you know, can make quick passes to get the, you know, the left, the forward into play. His go to man has always been Zinchenko. And if you are going to play, you know, a certain players, Martinelli, or you're going to play Havertz in that forced in that midfield position, in the number eight position, Zinchenko in the first half against Villa got him into those sort of positions. Unfortunately, when it comes to defence, unfortunately with Zinchenko, it's so easy to get to get the ask. All you do is play the diagonal ball. Zinchenko's on his isn't only on his toes and just run past him and boom, you're straight at goal. So he's got a big problem because if he plays Kivio, we're going to have the same situation that we have with Corsi Shell and um, what we had with um, Sane, where if he, if he gives him um, a couple of yards, he gets he gets um, run at and can't cope. If he gets tight, he gets spun and gets run away from. So we've got a big problem. I think the logical thing would be to start Tommy Asu, but you're going to have to, you're going to, 
have to accept you're not going to have much of the ball and you're going to have to make sure that your pass is accurate and that you you when you do play, um, try to play in the break every pass is perfect pitch perfect and if you get a chance put it away and then you know sit back that's the that's the best way of a plan of action because you do kill our attack if you don't play Sinchenko, but Sinchenko can't defend. You know, he's he's a, he's going to be a massive, massive problem because he's going to cost us big in the big, big games where we're playing against teams of, you know, good technical ability, good forwards and a decent midfield. He's part of the problem because if he can't get on the ball, then you're, you're playing with um, 10 men. In terms of, like, Jesus as well, I don't think Jesus will play. But don't be surprised if David Scott and not ahead of um, Trossard. He may say that Trossard's probably better covered the bench, or he, he may play Trossard sense of Jesus. One player that you know you can't play is Martinelli, because you're only going to play Martinelli if you play Sachenko and you'll get a jump night the ball. If you don't play Sachenko, don't waste your time playing Martinelli because you won't be able to get him in the game um, in those passes. So yeah. Those are two sections I do agree with in terms of like Trossard for Jesus, although I wouldn't be surprised if he starts. And then, you know, Zinchenko, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have him in a team. But I understand from a part, um, midfield um, point of view, you're playing, but he's he's used up all his credit, all the credit he had from last season. And there wasn't much going anyway. That's good, no. mate. He's, 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 he's got he's into his overdraft. Double, double, double overdraft. You know what I mean? In fact, very, very good, good points, mate. Very good points. Uh, Dal, welcome aboard, my friend. Big game well, tonight, man. Well, big guys. game. Big game. We're going to dis dissect this and see what we come come out of it with. I mean, um, quarterfinals. Barcelona went out. Atletico Madrid went out. Yep. And That's are we nice. going to get? Are we going to get through, bro? Are we gonna are we gonna put it off tonight at the Alliance? Big big game. Personally, you know, um, I'm still hopeful. I am. I'm still hopeful. But mate, it's all they've got to play for now. They're out. Of the, they've, they've lost the league. That's gone. They're out of the German Cup. That's gone. So now all they've got is the Champions League, and they're pretty relentless, man. I mean, it's a big ask tonight, isn't it? It's massive, and I I unfortunately do not see us going through, Jazz. I just don't th – I think the pressure is going to be too much. And I think Arteta is going to make mistakes. And that's going to cost us the game. That's how I truly, truly feel. I thought about it all day yesterday. And, you know, I had hopes for 1-0 or maybe a 2-1. But I just – I don't see the, the dark cloud raising over our heads in this game. Because Villa was a massive, massive disappointment. And I don't know if the, if the lads, you know, can come back from that. I was such a disappointment on Sunday. I'm still angry about it. And I think we all should be, you know, we all should be. But um, I don't know. We'll, we, they've got to play one of the best games they've played this season. Everything has to tick. Everyone has to be on point. And I just don't see it. I don't see the concentration levels being what they need to be for the full 90 minutes. Well, I, I totally agree, mate. Um I mean, great comment from Jonathan here. Part of the problem is our Arteta's arrogance. It will cost us when it matters. Yeah, I've been saying this for so, so long, man. You know, this guy, just it's his way or the highway, and it just really winds me up, to be honest. Um, Jam says, Trossel is good, and he starts in the UCL. He's inconsistent when it starts in the Prem, though. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair point. Big Sai says, Jez, I would love to come on with some days. Is that possible? Yeah, of course, of course, man. Of course. No worries there. No dramas. Um, Anthony, you know, we talked about it backstage before we, we went live this game tonight. It, it, it's it's shit or bust, isn't it, really, for our season? Personally, I mean, I'm going to put it out there, right? I think after the capitulation of the weekend, we handed it on the plate. Um I, you know, I'm still very angry about it. I know there's still six games to go, but I can't see Man City losing any of them. Mate, no. what do you make it tonight? Hopeful? I, I, I don't know, Jess. I, I, I said it on shoes. Like I said it on your shoes. I said it on other people's shoes. 
this is where I predicted Arsenal will be. They get to the quarterfinals. Anything after the quarterfinals, brilliant, is a bonus in my book. I said that. But tonight, I think Kenny touched on it. He's hit the nail on the head when he actually said, you know, with um, Kenko, don't, don't want him starting. Don't want him starting at all. Nowhere near the team. Um, you touched on it as well with Jesus. What I'd like to say, I'd like to put Martinelli on the bench and start, uh, start Trussard. I mean, I, I look how he changed the game when he come on uh, in the last game against Bayern Munich. You know, in first leg, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. If he's going to do that, he's going to have to um, he's going to have to produce it in tonight's game as well. So I think there's going to be no matter what Mikel Arteta does or what players or well, he always sticks with the same formation, but. Eyes are going to be on certain areas of the uh, the game tonight, certain areas of the pitch. Uh, who's playing in what position? If this, if he does uh, decide to pick Sichenko, uh, eyes are going to be on him, um, and it's going to be interesting where he's going to play a certain Kai Havertz as well, because that against Aston Villa in the midfield, that was just dross. That was vile. I, I that I I was fuming. I I couldn't believe it. As you know. I watched the first half. I was in bloody Cardiff. I was watching UB40 on Sunday. And then when I come back to the hotel, I was literally pacing up and down in the hotel room. I, I was doing my Mrs. Ed in. She said, can mm. you sit down? I said, no, I can't. I, I'm angry. I'm fuming. So that was that. But it, listen, it, it's like what I said. It's down to Mikard setter. He's got to pick the right team, the right strategy. He's got to come up with a game plan. Like if we're going to do anything against Bayern Munich. We know they haven't won the league. You know, they've done poor in the league. But in all fairness, it's got to be... I don't want to see no silly tackles tonight, like in the last game when Harry Kane scored the penalty. There can't, there's got to be well-timed tackles. got to be good passing, slow and movement. In that game, everything hasn't got to be down the right. It's got to be down to both flanks, to me. Down both flanks, not on the right. Because if you're going to go down on the right, Saka's going to be man-marked in this game tonight. Yeah, and... People are going to be slating him because he hasn't um, picked up to his expectations because he's being man-marked by two guys. That's what they do. If, you, if you're marking Saka, he ain't going to be in the game. You've got two defenders on him. And to a certain extent, I obviously, I do feel sorry for him if that does happen tonight. But this is where Mick Arteta's got to come up with a game strategy and maybe swap the players either side. Try something. Throw everything at it. Even the kitchen sink. Just throw it. And see what we've got, what we can do, and what we can end up with. Hopefully, I hope we do win. But personally, in the back of my head, I can't see it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you, man. I mean, Jam's come up with his team here. Raya, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tommy Asu, Jorginho, Rice, Udegaard, Saka, Havertz, Trossov. That is yeah. pretty much the team I picked. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'd, I'd even, if he's fit, if he's fit, Right, I'd even put Partey in there. Um, Kenny, do you would, would do you know? Do you fancy Partey? Do you think this is his type of game? Well, let's let's just say it's, you know what. Out and put in mm. Partey. It's think? such a shame that Thomas Partey isn't fully fit because Thomas Partey is fully fit. I, I can tell you categorically, there is no way that J Jesus um, will be getting. The amount of game time he's had this season, it'll be a situation where Jesus will just come off for, you know, a few courses, or, you know, be a horse on a few courses. That Tom's part of maybe be the main man, and who knows, him, they might even give Declan a rest, you know, for sick. But, but because Tom's part of fitness is such such in question, mm. you know, it's hard to go. But however, one thing you did, one one thing um, that should help Tom's party, I think what's happened with Tom's part is that his mate. Um, Martin Odegaard's missed him a lot because you think about when they were playing again last season, Todd's party, Martin Odegaard didn't have to um, drop deep because he knew that Todd's party were passing the ball accurately. He's put, you know, they had a good telep you know, telepathic um, um, understanding of the football pitch. And I think Odegaard does miss that sometimes where, especially when Jesus is in and even when Declan's in, he's out to drop back a lot deep. He's not get it wrong, he's in the game a bit more, but, you know, a game like this, where you want Odegaard to affect the game in the attacking point of view, Thomas Partey is a great shout. It's just his fitness, really. Let's face it, Partey's our best player still, you know. But you know, he, we, we, we ain't going to see any evidence of it because of the fact that he's not fully, fully fit. 
and he hasn't been all season. I don't know what sort of injury, but if it's a thigh injury, you know, then yeah, thigh injuries take ages to clear up. Mm, do. Fact. Fact is, I just want to get a shout out to Green Street Elite's budgie. Good old, good old mucker. Proper West Ham fellow there. Um, I hope you're doing okay, mate. I know what you're going through um, with, with your chemo and everything. So uh, take care of yourself, bro. You know, seriously. Um, lives not far from me. Top, top fella. Um, proper West Ham boy as well. Um, Luke says, uh, we are sure to get charts. If we can't be sloppy with them, have to be clinical. Fact. Mm. Absolute bloody facts, man. Couldn't say better than myself. Um, Dow. Yeah. It, it's the question I have to say is, right? I thought Rice, personally, myself, oh. against Villa was poor. He looked very tired. Right. Very tired. Um, I think we've burnt him a little bit. Would you, would you, I mean, this is a question. Mm -hmm. Would you start Partey in, 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 in place? Would you go Jorginho, Partey, Udegaard? Maybe? No. I would, Partey is in my lineup, though. I would have Rice on the left, Party and Odegaard. I think Jorginho's legs are done. I think his legs are worse off than Rice's, to be honest. And my mm. friend three is a lot different than your guys. I got, I got to go Martinelli, Jesus, and Saka. Mm. And the reason why is I think we need to hit him with pace and speed right mm. from the get-go and then bring on Trissard to bring on the technical stuff around the 70th minute. Trissard is not that good when he starts. I know he's had some great appearances mm. in Champions League, but let's be honest, guys, he is not that you know impactful when he's he started games. And mm. I'm afraid if he starts, then we bring Martinelli on. And Martinelli obviously is having a crap season. There's just – it doesn't, mm. to me, make sense to bring Martinelli on for Trissard when we can just hit him with pace, at mm. attack him as hard as we can the first 15, 20 minutes, and let's see what Martinelli can do. If he can whip some balls across the box, play some back to Jesus. Jesus will eat Eric Dyer up all day long. He was phenomenal in the – first game when the 20 minutes he was on for the second goal. I say we just go with the original three guys. Havertz comes on for Jesus maybe in the 75th minute. I'm, I'm not convinced of Havertz. He was absolute terrible on Sunday. Terrible, like Anthony said. Mm. And I just, up front, he's, you know, I see what Macy's saying. Jesus is useless, but they're all freaking useless right now. Mm. There's not really anyone up front I trust. I yeah. don't trust Trissard at the center forward striking position. Uh, Martinelli hasn't given a sniff there, but he's had a bad season. He's only got six or seven goals this season. But I think that, you know, we we got to in some ways stick with the original three up front and then make the subs. I just think there, hopefully there's something there with Martinelli and Jesus that they can recapture something. You know, hit them with speed. The defense is slow. Their midfielders and strikers are fast. You know, Goretzka's tough, but their defense is slow. And I think if we just hit them with pace and speed, like I said, the first 20, 25 minutes, I think there's some uh, there's something there. I, I, I agree with that. I, I but do I agree don't want with that. on the left. I don't want Zinchenko or ha Zinchenko no, even on the bus. No, I don't so want him. He can go no. walk away around Lennon Colney for all I care. But no, no. I, 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 that looks convincing to me. Sorry, Jez, go ahead. No, he'll cost us, man. Um, sorry, he, he, yeah. he's, he, he disappears into that midfield that exposes the left flank again. And this, this is a, this is the point. Tim says, uh, rotate the front three, do something different. Right. This is this is my problem with the manager. He, he, he against Aston Villa, he was absolutely lost. Mm -hmm. Lost. He didn't know what. Kenny, you were there. Mm. He was. Absolutely confused. Anthony, man, would you change up up front? I mean, you know, personally, I don't want to see Havertz back in midfield. Why? The one thing I said about that bloody game at the weekend, don't tinker with the team. And what did he do? Tinkered with the team. Messed it up. I don't understand it, Jez. Don't understand it. If it's not, if it's not broken, why fix it? Mm. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? It, it, you know, the, he, you don't change a winning strategy, a winning team. I mean, look at all that, what we've done in the league. 
And then that comes up towards Aston Villa. If we don't win the league this season, yeah, all that would have counted for nothing. All that hard work. Literally mm. in the thing. That's the frustration I have. Sorry to interrupt you, my friend. I'll come back to you. All this hard work, these great results, five, six, nil great wins, conceding only four goals up until the weekend from the new year, right? And it could all be just wiped out mm. because of stupidity, his arrogance, and that that's what really that probably winds me up more than anything, Anthony. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Please, please go on. Sorry. No, sorry, Jess. Yeah, it's, it, it does. It, it really does. It, I, I don't know what uh, was in his mind. Um, there has been there. There was talks. Now this is just talks that I've I've been hearing. With obviously with Aston Villa winning, beating us. Obviously, they're in fourth position. In Tottenham, are fighting for the fourth position. Uh, there, there was. Um, I've been hearing that maybe he did it so Tottenham could finish fourth. I mean, I know that sounds like a bit of a poor excuse, which it does, because it should have been a winning um, team. Do you know what, Jim? When I, when I was watching that game in the uh, the pub the first half, and I actually seen them walking out on, onto the pitch, the players, but to me, there wasn't really much of a sign of a confidence there. But mm. It seemed like mentality, it just wasn't there. Yep. And this is, this is what I'm going to say within this game tonight. So I tell you what, when this game starts tonight and you're watching, all of you, please keep the mm. eye on the players as they walk on the pit and mm. see if you're absolutely confident. Because I'll tell you something now, the only two players going back that were confident was when we was up against Man United, the Boy Kings, the Patrick Vieiros. Mm. You know, mm. they wanted it. They, you can tell their, their mood, their, their vision, they were... Focus. Their eyes went everywhere. They were literally focused walking out on that pitch and they were determined to win the game. Right? This is what I want to see in the players tonight. This is also what I want to see in the players when they're playing the Premier League from now right up until the last game of the season. That is what I want. This is what I want to see. Because if I don't see any of that when they're walking out on the pitch, mm. we're in trouble. We ain't doing diddly squat. They look, you know, they, 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 when I, I watched them come out, I was watching it with, uh, doing a watch along of that guy, with the Yeti. And I, and I said, they don't look up for it. No. They didn't look buzzing to me for a game where you're actually in contention to win the Premier League. Seriously. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it, we've got to, the, the, the thing is on this one tonight, yeah, we haven't gone this far in the Champions League in God knows how long. Way, 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 mm. way, way too long, Kenny. And mm. it, it, it's, uh, yeah, big up to you, Budgie, man. Look after yourself, bro. Um, Sergio says, uh, tonight we, we see what this team is made of. Facts, oh. Kenny. Mm. You can't argue, can you? You can't. This, this is it now. We, we are down to the wire, mate. I mean, 2-2. Two, yeah. two, Away, come on! I mean, what can you make of it? See, the thing is, right, is that you know, like a week ago, we 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 could easily say that we're going to prioritise the league because, you know, it sounds, you know, what a different uh, different seven days it would make. But I'll tell you one thing, right? It ah, uh, all good to see you, Christopher. But yeah, we'll be watching the cricket. West Indies are coming down um, to England, so I'll be watching a bit of that. But I think. A week ago, if you had told us that um, we wouldn't have the league title when it hangs and that we, Bayern is now the be on everything, I'd have laughed at you. And the reason why I would have laughed at you is because, you know, let's let's be honest. We're in a very good position. Aston Villa, you know, you know, were very, very inconsistent. But I think the Bayern game was like a slap in the face of a, a, a wet fish, mm. a wet pod as well, because... It panics us because we saw a lot of things that we we're not as good as what we thought we were. Especially like defensively, we we finally faced a uh, forward who can actually back into us or drop back into midfield, and we don't weren't able to cope with that. We weren't able to cope with the pace and the wings, and we weren't able to cope when we actually have generally 
you know, a genuine midfield who not only could stop their attacking players from um, playing and getting into forward positions, but also dominating the ball. They we 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 can cope with that and Villa sort of blueprint because already that blueprint to beat us in um um in December. They use the same blueprint from December and from Bayern. You know, I was watching a tactical thing where all you do, do with Arsenal don't have, don't necessarily play the play, high line, just playing as kind of a circle around that midfield and basically block don't let it try and stop us, force it to play through the middle. And we'll struggle. And I think that's what Bayern's going to try and do. But today, of all days, this is where we've got to learn how to play, how to play differently. We've had it our own way since um, January when we came out from Dubai. From Dubai, we played fantastic football. We beat teams who we should be beating, but we thrashed them. So it gave us a lot of confidence to believe that we can go far in both competitions. Now, this is a test, mm. you know. You, you're at your, you, we know what you, how good you are when the pitches are heavy, when when you get a bit tired, when results are getting against you, when teams are raising their game against you, and you're playing against really hungry teams. That's when you see the best of uh, of us. And I, I really genuinely hope that we, we see we learn because at the end of the day, these guys ain't babies. You know, you're always going to have people saying, "Oh yeah, young team, young manager." It's a learning curve. You know, look where we were a few years ago. We were eighth, and then we got fifth. We come all that way to get second, we're in the quarter final. What are you lot moaning about? Well, sorry. You're a big club. You're not you're not a club. You're not babies. You know, some of these players have played probably nearly 150 games for us. That's experience. So this is where you look, this is where you've got to prove you're not, it's not a learning curve, it's proof that you're up to it to play for the club. And the, those who fall by the wayside, I'm afraid, will have to be replaced. I've got a list of players that I know I can't rely on next season, or I know that we've got to replace and it's long. He said it the other night, mate, last night. Mm. Uh, no, sorry, he said it Monday night mm. uh, on, on the podcast and Lee show, you know. Um, and it's going to be interesting tonight because, uh, Kenny, you saw we did the emergency meeting show um, on Sunday night after the mm. game. He's uh, talking about doing it. If we don't win tonight, we lose. Another emergency meeting. No you player up. I, I, I'm all, I'm up for that. I'm up for emergency meeting because you know things have to be said and in thing you've got to get certain things off your chest. You have to be honest, uh, honest and open what you think. You know you can't be swayed by um, you know, make friends holding you back, family holding you back, and you know people saying, well, you know, just be happy. You know, you know, it, as bad as it was, you don't protest against um, a long-serving manager only to be happy with finish second or be happy with him getting the top four. You're protesting against his manager because you weren't challenged for the league. Because we did finish occasionally under Wenger. We did finish um, second occasionally under Wenger. We finished third occasionally under Wenger, but mostly fourth. And we were not satisfied by that because we were way behind the eight ball when it came to winning genuine trophies. So don't expect us to be happy with that because... I'll tear up and get a couple of eight posi- eighth place positions. You know, don't don't lower the standards. If you want to lower the standards, that's fine, but don't try and shut us up. Mm, true. Yeah, absolutely. No, nobody ever shut us up. That's for, that's for fact. At the end of the day, man. Um, uh, Aaron says Arsenal need to have need to have a change mentality from top to bottom in order for the club to restore their glory days under Arteta. They will just continue to decline. Well, we're going to find out very shortly. You know, in what, just over an hour and a bit, hour and a half, we're going to find out what this manager is really all about. And question, question, I'll, I'll come to you this one, on Anthony. Right? And I, I've seen many, many different points of view on this one. If we go out tonight, right, if we do, and if we don't win this Premier League, right? Has he got to go, Arteta? Yeah, yeah, he's got to go. He's got to go. But I'm going to say, Jez, even though that's wishful thinking, almost and thinking that he should go, I can see him being here next season. And I'll tell you what, yeah, I said it before. He's only got to spend two hundred and fifty million quid next season, and he spent his first billion pound at Arsenal. So for what? One FA Cup win. Really? Facts. 
Facts, man. I mean, how long? How long do you give a bad relationship? That's the question. Right. You know, it, 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 it has to come to an end at some point. But we'll, we'll that's we'll leave that for another day because you know we, we're not out of it yet. We, we've got a chance tonight. It's a big ask, but if that if this our manager can get the, the boys up for it and get them pumped. I didn't see it uh, the other night. Big up, DJ. Um, I just think it's all going to be down to whether what team he picks personally. And I, 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 I do have my doubts. I do have my doubts about it. Big up, Matty. Thanks for joining in, man. Um, I'm sure you're just as nervous as we all are, Matty. That's for sure. Um, but First, before we go to the next bit, I'm going to come to uh, Dow. Sure. Smash those bloody likes up because there's a load of you in here and you're not smashing the likes up. That's bad news. It's naughty, you know. Uh, <laughs> if you don't smash the likes up, I'm sending Kenny around, all right? And Kenny will smash you up. So, <laughs> pulled it out. Um, Dow, I'm joking, of course, obviously. Um, well, I'm what to say for the question if Kenny's going to come around and smash me up. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Portland, Kenny. <laughs> um, would you, Dow, would you yes, put Havertz back up front, centre? He's done well there. He yes. does. He, he, you know, he's physically, he, he's, he's good, he's physically, he draws other defenders out of position, which causes drama. Right. So, right. would you start him there tonight? No. You wouldn't. Okay. No, I'm going. I'm going original, bro. I'm going Martinelli, Jesus, and Saka. Jesus, hey, how are you going, Jesus? Uh, because he played well the 20 minutes he was on against him last time. He got the assist to Tussard. He did tiki taka tiki taka inside their box and gave it to Tussard for the layoff for the goal. Jesus, I, I, I said it before. Jesus will eat Eric Dyer for lunch. We need speed, 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 speed. We need to hit him with speed and then bring on the big boy, Havertz, so he can stand there and be a fucking totem pole or something. I, I, I hear what I hear. You. Crap. I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't know on that one. Kenny. Wait, is, I, yeah, he's, he's, I, sorry to interrupt, but I know that that's, that my lineup is totally different than your guys, but I want Tommy Austin to represent no, Pico. Oh, God, mate. All right. No, fair play. Fair play. Before I go to Kenny, give me your lineup in doubt, please. Oh, my lineup, Tommy Asu, Sarsky, and Hutch. And Ben White, um, and you know what? I'm going to go out on a wild one. Aaron Ramsdale in goal, and let's put no. Rice, <laughs> Rice on the left, Party in the center, Odegaard on the right, with Martinelli on the left, Jesus up front, and Saka on the right. Speed, speed, speed. These guys are slow. They're slow. They slowed the game down last time, and that's how they beat us. They slowed us down and hit us on the counter. Speed, 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 speed. One, two, three, hit him. I, I, it's, it's not going to happen, but that's what I want to happen. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's not going to pick Jesus up front. He's not going to pick Martinelli. That's just what I want to see because I want something different, like a couple of people said in the chat. Mix it up. We have nothing to lose at this point. We have nothing to lose. Good point. Absolutely great. Point. I'm going to come to that. I'm going to come to Kenny and Big up to the Arsenal fan coming, you gunners. Thank you, man, for subscribing. Very good, decent of you. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny, that's a, that's a that's a fair point that uh, Dallas has made. We've got nothing to lose. Nothing yeah, but that, that, you're right. That was the mentality of um, a, a lot of the teams that played yesterday. You know, PSG lost at home to Barcelona. You know, they, they took advantage of the fact they got an equaliser. And then the, but the player got himself sent off, and then that was it. They were back in the game. So, and then obviously, everyone still had um, Madrid to um, triumph in um, Dortmund. But Dortmund um, played a very attacking football, and I think that's the thing. It's only it's only setting off. You know, I hate to bring it up, but let's not forget that lot. Um, you know, if you down um, Seven Sisters Road, one nil down against Ajax, you know, five years ago, they were out. They weren't going to the final in Madrid, and they went and won. They went and won. So, you know, and I like to think that we got a better team than they had, than they, than they had, and that, you know, when they went to um, Ajax, you know, five years ago. So it can happen. 
you know, so there's loads of fat, loads of teams have, you know, done played better in the second leg because let's face it, the pressure is on Bayern. They have got nothing to play for. The season's over. You know, Harry Kane's under a lot of pressure because he hasn't won silver. He's got he's got you know a few um runners up medals, but he hasn't won a trophy. You know, he hasn't won a winner's medal. So he's under a bit of pressure. You know, and then you've got a lot of players who who next season will be will be worrying about futures of buying because if they don't win nothing next season, eight percent of that team's a goner. They're all gone. So yeah, we got to go relax. But the problem is we're under pressure as well because we genuinely believe that we got no, we ain't got a Scooby or, or, or a chance of winning the Premier League because Man City in front. So we're under a lot of pressure. So. Whoever deals with the, the pressure situation the best will win the game today. And Arsenal under pressure is not a is not the best of friends, is it? No, that is true. That is that is a good point, mate. Good point. Um, the disabled team uh, has become a YouTube member. Thank you, my friend. Go and subscribe to the YouTube this this uh, channel, man. The disabled team is good channel. It really is good stuff on this, Stu. Yeah, nice one, bro. Thank you for that, um, Anthony. Would you, would you, um, Jesus up front tonight? No, no, I wouldn't. I, okay. I, I, I would play now, Albert. Um, hey, now, Anthony, argument, what's going down? Hey, let's say ding, 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 ready to rumble. Get into it. Ding, Anthony. Ding, ding. <laughs> I, I feel that we've got, do you know what? I, I find when you play Jesus up front with Martin Ali and Saka, yeah, it is a good, uh, a good attack, but what comes with good attack is, is greed. And we don't score many goals. Obviously, with Havertz playing up front, he caused that problem in the 18-yard box. He could spur up defences. And also, uh, we, we've got the likes of Martinelli, uh, Saka, that can obviously come in and cause damage into the box, into the 18-yard box. Also, Odegaard, and every now and then, a certain Declan Rice. I've also seen a link-up as well between Havertz and Jorginho. Kenny's most probably seen it as well when he goes to the games at the Emirates. Obviously, when um, Jorginho uh, comes through, squares the ball to Havertz. I've noticed this, and no Arsenal fans really hasn't picked up on this. Kenny might. Do you, all the goals that Kai Havertz has scored, do you know Jorginho has actually assisted most of them on open play? Have, have you noticed that? Yeah, and it's, it's true. So there, there's that link up there, and also with what Havertz is doing, don't get me wrong, we all know he's not a 20 season goal striker, you know, you can't do mm. that. But if, if he's a striker that can cause problems in that box, <clears throat> split open the gaps between the defense and we can get the attack him on open play, that's the that's the opportunity that we've got, you know, if we're gonna win this game tonight. Can I rebut that, Your Honor, Jez? Your Honor, can I rebut my uh the prosecutions <laughs> of declaration there as the defendant okay here's the idea anthony is that we get them on the back foot with jesus Saka, and martinelli once they're pressured on the back foot that gives odegaard space to operate that gives rice to operate to move up front and party to lock down the back four so i'm thinking i'm thinking pace 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 because they are a slow team we know that we know they've got a couple fast wingers harry kane's not you know what we consider fast but he can still pass the ball with his back to goal and so forth. But I do believe that Nabry's out. I believe that Sané is kind of questionable. So there's two you know, things that go in our favor right now. We'll see when the lineups come. But the analysis is that if we hit them on, with pace, they have to back up, back up, back up on the back foot. And now mm -hmm. we have them trapped. The problem is, is that what I saw from last game is we tried to do that. And it, it worked successfully, right? We got a goal out of it. But then I think we took our foot off the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. I think our tennis was fine with a 1-0, you know, and that's where the problems come is when we settle. We start to settle. We, we don't zip the ball around the pitch fast enough. We all saw it. We saw it again against Villa as well. I mean, there was some great play in the first half, but the second half we were dead. But I don't want to talk about Villa. So the thing is, <laughs> is that we slow the game down. That plays in their favor. Havertz slows the game down. We know this. And that's fine. As a center forward, he slows the game down. He puts his back to goal. He looks for through balls from Odegaard. But if they're not there, he stands there. 
And that's why I want Jesus today to be in there and moving around, getting Eric Dyer and them out of position. Mm -hmm. Havertz is going to physically push them, but if we that's where we hit a wall. And they'll just low block, I think, if we have Havertz. But if we have Jesus running in there, maybe switching with Martinelli, rotating center and left, it's going to cause them problems. Again, that's that's my analysis, mm -hmm. but I also know what you're saying is that we have good luck with Havertz. And I, I believe what you say with Jorginho providing the assist. But remember, we're only playing Jorginho because we have to, because party's been out. Other than that, you know, we'd have party in there. And I think today maybe is the day for party to make a, a decent appearance. Maybe not, probably not for 90 minutes. But I, I stand by what I say with the front three and just go at them with pace and power. And I think we'd be surprised to see what happens. If we put Havertz up there, I truly believe it slows down the play. Guys, okay, good comment, man. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Can I have a can I have a little say on this one? All right. Sorry, to be a thing. I, I agree with what Dal's saying. I just I understand where he's coming from. But the reason why I say this Havertz and all that, think of it. In the ninety minutes, it, it, it might do us it, it might do us good to do that, play that. But let's let's see if this game is a draw and then it goes into the extra time. What you're saying, Dal, I want that in the extra time if the game does go into extra time we can give it to them in the extra time which saves us doing that uh for the dreaded penalty shootout sorry to interrupt but now you're talking putting jesus in for Havertz. if he's only the fast guy out there who's going to keep up with them their legs are going to be all dead by 75th 80th minute yeah, but then again, that's 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 the way that's the way how it is. If, if if we're drawing, we go into extra time. What you're saying is, but then again, that's when you can you know by then if Trussard's on the bench, Trussard will come on because with Nico Arteta, you know sometimes he's a bit late in making his substitutions right. uh, through the ninety minutes anyway. So obviously Trussard would have come on then. Um, we most probably would have had most probably a Thomas Party. We most probably see him uh, come on the, off the bench in the game, the, like the last what fifteen minutes of the ninety, let's say. But you know, it's like what I said. He, he will still introduce new different players and fresh legs. But if Arsenal want this, it's like what I said. You've got to throw everything at it, even the kitchen sink. You play one hundred and ten percent. I don't care if your legs are about to literally fall off. You you, you play to that whistle. And you, are, I, I want the best out of these players tonight to get into that semi. I agree fact, with that. Uh, Watford, uh, thanks, man, for your super <laughs> chat. It doesn't sell good plays. He scammed us with Zinian Jesus, true. Scammed Chelsea with Sterling. Real Madrid scammed United with washed up Casemiro. Um, and I just want to come back to this one. And, and yeah, I saw this today, actually. Uh, Zigazag, yeah, big up. Sorry, I mean. Wow. Angry Rantman's died today, uh, or died. Yeah, well, I heard about it because I think I heard about it early in the morning, and then I think mean, you, you, um, talk to us as Chelsea man, rightly said that that's hasn't been an official announcement, uh, from um, family members or just from where he was in India, but it's not going away. People just keep on, you know, saying rest in peace to the guy, but you know, he, he built up a really good, um, you know, obviously you're going to wait for something official, but if it's happened, it's a it's a tragedy. It's so sad. He's so young. I don't believe he's in it. A lot of people saying it. Uh, so I don't know where the info's come from. I see. No, I, think, I, think, I, I saw it this morning, and I think Terry um, Fleur has, um, you know, he said rest in peace, and then, you know, um, it got contradicted a few times. I don't know what the situation is, but you know, if it's happened, he, I mean, he's he's only he's not even. I don't think he's even. He, he's, Mid thirties, I think he's a young lad. Yes, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. It was very entertaining. I found him entertaining. Yeah, I thought it's funny. I thought it's funny actually. Um, but if that is true, then that's a great that's a great loss, man. That's a great loss. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry to hear that. Um, but thanks for the super chat as well. Um, before we wrap this up, Anthony. Um, you know, it's going to be, I don't know, are you confident? Are you confident, bro? Uh, I want to be. Um, yeah, um, I, I most probably go into the start of the game confident, but it's like what I said in the uh, stream earlier, Jez. You, uh... <laughs> 
that's all coming out now. It'll be on my next show later on tonight. Uh, it, that we'll, we'll see all that. But what I'm looking at is when the players, like what I said, when they're in the tunnel ready to walk out on the pitch, I want to see them focus and I want to see their mindset. If I can see that, we've got a chance. If they're all like this and the tunnel, they're joking and laughing around, then no, we're going to do nothing. Tonight. True. Right. Big up, Jess. Uh, J-S-Y Talks Football, Leeds Football Fan Channel. Great, great fun they are. They're a great laugh. Um, go, and, go and subscribe to them. Give them some love. Uh, thank you, Jess. Kenny, <laughs> you, you happy? You positive? No, I'm, I'm realistic. I'm realistic. That I, don't, I do think that, you know, our, our better players are too and, and knackered. The players that I know who I trust to win me the game, and that Saka looks looks like he can only give me he ain't gonna give me the full ninety. Better than Rice looks like he's me. The problem why we have we're gonna have to get a, we're gonna have to control possession. We don't control possession, then our legs will give way, and I think we we get cleaned up cleaned out here. That's my mm. biggest biggest worry, which means you really really got to take your chances and be and you got to suffer tonight. Got to really suffer, you know. Prepared to the kitchen. If you, you're saying that we should throw the kitchen sink at Bayern, but let's not forget there's no away goals. So let's face it, it's actually uh, it's actually equal equals. So if it doesn't, if it, if we don't get a winner tonight, it's going to go straight to um, extra time. And yeah. you know, which team doesn't want which team doesn't want extra time? <laughs> I think it's us. If we still get ambitious about winning the Premiership, extra time's a bad bad one for us, especially. Because you think about it, if we go to Wolves, um, Wolves um, on Saturday, then you, you it's basically who's who's got boots and who's fit enough to play. Because you won't be a lot of that team won't be f- physically or mentally fit for Wolves. Because we got we have to believe, even though we we generally feel that Man City have um, have won a title already, we have to be competitive and say, look, if they step up, we need to be ready to go. I don't think we can afford. We got to win this in ninety. If it goes through extra time, it's yeah. not great. Even if we do get through, because it's not great for our league, league and title ambitions. Go there, take the game away from them. You know, do what you have to do, and then come out and see what you come out of old piece. But I still think my my score line is two one by. I'm being realistic. I don't think we'll win. Fair play. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, Dow. Give me your prediction, man. What do you think? How's it going to go? Where, you know, are we going to walk out the alliance all happy, or are we going to be all depressed? I think we're going to be all depressed. I do. I, I don't think this team has the mental fortitude for a game like this. And we have seventy thousand Bayern Munich fans screaming down your throat. I, I just don't. I just don't see it, I, especially after the Villa loss. I, I, they'd have to really, really, really pick their heads up, I think, Jez, to get something today. Um, I'm going to predict a 3-1. I was going to say 2-1, but I think after 2-1, we kind of lose our heads more and they pop one in at the end of the game, just like they did towards at Villa with Ollie Watkins' goal. I can see that happening again, us playing, us trying to get that that goal at 2-1 and playing too far up, and they just let a through ball go, and there goes Leroy Sané doing an Ollie Watkins on us. So I'm thinking 3-1, Jez. Of course, I'm hoping it, it's the other way. I'm praying to the football gods, hoping the stars align. Shout out Tony Claude. But uh, it's it's not looking too good, buddy. And I'm uh, I'm going to be up for it, but I'm not looking uh, – yeah. It's not looking too good. Yeah. I'm, I'm... So, so, sorry to cut you, Jez, but it, there's a lot of um, people in the chat who confirm – confirmed that you know there has been an official announcement that you know he's he has he has lost his life and he was only 27. yeah that's what your your chat is saying about anger right man that's just that's a tragedy because mm. yeah, i you know it's, it's just sad it's that is that is that is terrible 27 years of age yeah. not even started life really yeah. uh you know i'm saying that that is woof. no that's not that is I'm, that's 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 uh heartbreaking, you know. Uh, yeah, because no, believe what, family. yeah, just condolences to his family, and you know, god damn, yeah. I mean, it's it's um, he, he, he loved his football, he loved he loved Chelsea probably too yeah. much, it's probably too <laughs> much, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's sad, 
but the thing is, Kenny, you, you know, how, how, how can you not love your club too much? Because at the end of the day, yeah, I know that's the thing. But when you heard, when you saw his rants, oh my god, it, I, I you talk about rants. I must admit, I was watching um, the playback of the Arsenal, Aston Villa Arsenal matches. And it was late at night. I have to admit, a couple of people made me go shudder. I was thinking, bloody hell, that's they're really angry. And I thought, I thought I was bad, but there's a couple of people who really, you know, made me get out of my seat. I don't want to be around you when you've when when you've had a bad day. You know what I mean? So yeah, but he really was an angry man when Chelsea uh, um, lost in an entertaining way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he was funny about it though. He he, he was an entertainer. Um, yeah, it's very, very sad news to be honest. And uh, as I say, condolences to his family for that because at 27, man, seriously, you know, um, yeah. Sky News have Sky News have uh, announced it as well, have they? Yeah, it's on Sky News website. Yeah, but I got the lineup out. Yeah, it's not good, man. I uh, see he's a year younger than my son, Christ almighty. Uh, but there you go. Um, right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to be Mr. Positive here. Do it, I'm go Arsenal to win 2 0. Mm -hmm. I fancy it. I fancy it. it. Go, on. go on. Go on, Kenny. Go on. I see you have a little laugh at me there. Go on, mate. Go on. No, no, no not at all. Not at all. Because you did say 2 1 last week. You did say we win last week. But you know, the thing is, thing is, that's what you're there for because. At the end of the day, look at just look what we saw last night. The teams that had deficits managed to raise their game. As, you know, because you think about it, you a lot of the teams were in the last chance to loom. Dortmund are not going to win anything. You know, they they probably need to do. You know, hopefully the fact they got into like the semi-finals probably would help them get into the um, Champions League because I think. It's going to be impossible, narrow and impossible for um, an English team to qualify through fifth place now because all the teams in Europe, English teams in Europe, have performed badly. Liverpool ain't going to beat Atalanta. I'm assuming, for the, you know, um, Leverkusen going to beat see it through against West Ham, and then so it's going to be a hard one for a fifth place team. So, you know, they're playing for their futures. They're not going to win anything this season. So the Champions League is their last chance of trouble. And PSG. With the amount of money, you know, the Saudis are uh, put into their club, they have to win the Champions League at least this season because next season, a bappe has gone. Mm. Fact. It's very true. Um, I was just... Uh, sorry, mate, if I've missed your comment. I was just went about, I can't see it. Um, sorry about that. Rumble in the jungle. Um, if you want to put it back in, I will read it out before we... Arsenal wearing the green third kit. Oh, are they? Okay. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Madden Jez is right. That we all made to look like fools. Yes. I'll be, coming, I'll be coming for all of you and saying, listen to me. Listen to me. Um, yeah. Jam says, what are you drinking, Jez? Um, well, just Shiraz, mate. Nothing, nothing crazy. Is it? You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just... Being me, I'm being. I I don't know. I've just got a feeling. I've got a feeling. I don't know. You know, a feeling in the water, as they say. But um, it's better up, Jez. It's, there's times where we've been down this season, down and out last season. We've come back and won games that we didn't expect. A Gabriel Saliba could have a masterclass today, and if they do, that will shut down Bayern Munich. Yeah. Well, Chris, I, I Chris believe it, out of hopium, I'm saying uh, uh, one two to Arsenal. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go, you see. Um, the Arsenal defence has gone from being solid to being erratic and unreliable in past two matches. I have team news. I yeah. have team news. Oh, don't oh, depress me. Here we go. Right. Yeah. In goal, it's Raya. Right back is Benjamin White. Our centre halves are Saliba and Gabriel. And at left back, Tommy Asu. And midfield three is Rice Jorginho. And Odegaard. And our front three on the left is Gabriel Martinelli. In the middle is Kai Havertz. And on the right is Bakayo Saka. Reese Nelson. There we go. 
That's our That's team. That was what we don't need. Sorry, Tom. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess they're not going to go with my strategy now. <laughs> that yeah, white guy. Yeah, speed, Arteta. Nope, I'd rather just have her hold up the ball and let him run around and stand around like a donkey and out there farming at the Allianz. I don't know. 3 1 incoming, Jess. Sorry. Look, I called it. I doubt. I said when we bought him, there's a player in there somewhere. He's <laughs> You so, didn't say that in the first five weeks of him playing, though. No, well, you know, but listen to the old, listen to the old seasoned head I, here. Man. Right, I, I, I digress. I should have listened to the old seasoned veteran. <laughs> yeah, no, no, just listen to the silly old fool. Um, oh, which is absolute crap. But anyway, uh, we're going to get out of it. I want to have something to eat before we go live on the watch along. I'm going over to the Yeti. Um, uh, late at uh, half seven to watch a watch okay. along with him. I, 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 if, if the Yeti office that you know is, wants to send you some like um links for the not the Forest's Champions League um wings in 97 9 and 80, tell him where to shove it. Yeah, hey, I guarantee you, bro, you'll bring it up. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna bring it. Who has two stars on their kit? Who has yeah. two stars on their kid? Can you imagine if we had a Villa and Celtic? Can you imagine we had a Villa and Celtic uh, connections on your channel and they came on podcasts? Oh, God. We'd be finished. Oh, we would have the end of it. <laughs> that would be the end of it, bro. Anyway, um, everybody in the chat, thanks for watching. Big up to the Arsenal tonight. Come on, we've got to get this win. We, we've got to get this win. Um, otherwise, I am going to go ballistic. I went bad and I went bad on... on, on Bloody Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was spitting feathers then. I've, I've, God knows what I'll be spitting tonight if we lose again. That'd be it. Yeah, he was um, mad on Sunday and he was dissecting the Arsenal squad on Monday when he was on the street with me and Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still I did. I had no scout. Yeah. 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 Uh, Longhead Yeti says, uh, never will I bring it up. Thanks, Kenny, for mentioning you and the Jesuit of both stars. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. As soon as you join the studio, Jez. It's going to be fun tonight, man. It's going to be fun to watch that. Oh, seriously. I think uh, we, we're watching both games at the same time. Yeti's doing the Man City Real, Real Madrid. I'm doing the uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal. So it's going to be quite fun. So come over there, have a watch. It'll be a laugh. Um, you know, it's always a good giggle with the Yeti. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, even though he does try to throw it down my throat about their two stars. <laughs> like, you know, whatever. Hey, um, hey, uh, you know, you, I've just got the buy-in team as well. I've got Neuer, Glitt, Kimmich, Dyer, Masuri, Goretzka, Sane, Guerrero, Lema. Musiala and Kane. Kane's playing, is he? Oh, there we Not go. There. So Sane is playing, but there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no um, um Kane, and there's no um Nabry. Davis playing? playing? No. Is that? Is Davis yeah. playing? Did you say? Dave, Davis is suspended. Oh, good. Suspended. Excellent. That's that's good. That's good news. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap it up, people. We're going to wrap it up. Um, one of Yeti's beard, Mike's beard dweller, Mike up, Mama. Yeah, we know. I know who you are. I know. Mike. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ganabri spitting the game out for his old club. Yeah. Well, Serge Ganabri. Yeah. Who knew? Um, Anthony, mate, you're on a show tonight. Later on, shout it out, please, bro. Yeah, I'm on um, Tony Zeridoris' channel uh, on the good, the bad, and the ugly. He's actually changed the picture on there. Um, him and Fuzzy are um, from Thunderbirds, and for some reason, he's got me down his bloody Wuzzle Gummidge, the cheeky kid. Yeah. So, oh, um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that. So, I'll, I'll be on that show, and also, I'll be watching the, um, the game at the same time as being on the show. Yeah. Top man, top man. Thanks for coming as always, bro. Uh, Kenny, you'll be watching the game. You'll be big into it. Uh, please shout your oh. socials, out, bro. I I'll be um, watching the game, of course, mate. Socials. It's Kenny Ken nineteen seventy two on Instagram, and we have a good laugh. We talk. Well, I talk about 
um, all these um, stuff that's happening in the sporting world, in cricket and football and boxing, of course. And, you know, uh, but, you know, today is very important. It is the alpha and omega. It's not oh, an exaggeration. Really? This is the alpha and omega, a be all or, a, or end all. It is. It's just factual. You know, yeah. the world will end if we I don't agree. win today. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. But I would say as I want Man City in the next round because we've taken four points off of them this season. Oh, oh let, let, let's just let's just win that game first. That time. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's come, <laughs> to, come to Dow. Dow, you're gonna be watching it tonight, bro. Are you doing yeah. a watch along? Yeah. Um, TJ talked me into doing a watch along with him today, so I'm gonna do my watch along. I don't do many watch alongs, I get pretty erratic in front of the telly so um i'm gonna do a watch along with tj today and see how that goes and but i'll be popping up while watching you and yeti two on my phone and watching other people on my phone as well during the game so i'll be in contact with everybody of course but um yeah i, I, I know before i said i wanted madrid just because i thought at the time that having you know three whiskeys before saying that was a good idea number one and then now i agree with anthony saying that yes if we if we go through i want city so, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair play. Uh, quickly, before we round it up, guys, Anthony, uh, who's going to win the other tie? Man City, Real Madrid. Who's going to win? Uh, Man City. If they can score three goals away, um, surely they, they, they earn advantage. Is it, they got it in the bag. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Kenny, uh, who do you think? Real Madrid, Barcelona? Uh, Real Madrid, Man, Man City, rather. Well, after what I saw yesterday, you don't know. You really don't know. No. Because right. the other day, as much as people were congratulating Man City for scoring um, three, Real Madrid scored three as well. So both defences can be penetrated and they were both superb goals. And Man City have got to remember, what's that high line of yours? Mm. And it's got Walker's playing. Just watch your high line. Yeah, interesting, actually. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a good watch long tonight because uh, yeah, he's going to be watching that. I'll be listening to him. And as, as he said, he wasn't going to mention it. Big up, everyone. Great to see two stars on the screen. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Says it all, doesn't it? This is what I'm going to have to put up with tonight. Seriously. You know, uh, <laughs> what can you do? And uh, Taffy Gunner since 98. Right now, we're moving like we will beat Bayern. They get smashed through all. Smashed up three 0 to Wolves next game. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be an easy game, bro. That's not going. Doubt who's going to win the game between City and Real Madrid. I think it's going to go one one into extra time, and Real Madrid are going to snag it two one. Because I don't think both teams have figured out that you play open, each team gets punished. Is what they found out in the last game. So yeah. I just, I, I, I think it'll be a lot more defensive than the first meeting they had. So. I, I'm thinking Real Madrid, extra time. Yeah, true. Okay, I'll go go with that one. Uh, Lee's gone live. Lee Gunnery's gone live now, so we will bounce out. And uh, great question here. Um, Bobby Simo says, uh, "Why why didn't the idiot play this team on Sunday?" Fact, right? Fact. So exactly what I said. Exactly. Don't tinker with the bloody team. But he did. But anyway, people, we're out of here. Um, enjoy the game. Um, could be could be a long night because if Arsenal go out tonight, it's going to be an interesting chat with Lee Gunner um, later on. Emergency meeting number two, possibly. Um, I'll be at, I'll be dissecting this game tomorrow night, um, and I might have to scalpel out if they get it wrong again. Fact. Um, and uh, thanks for for joining in. Great chat tonight. Loads of people in the comments. And smash the lights up if you haven't, because we're out of it. And uh, big up Mama Flossie. And uh, we, I will enjoy the game. I might get a bit angry. You never know. Here we go. See how it happens. But um, it is what it is. We're out of here, people. And uh, have a great evening. Come on, you all.